Hello, my name is Metin Aradasher. This video is introduction of explanation of my theory, my formulas, and my main concepts in physics. I have found an empty page in universe. Then I have started to write. What is this page, which I named it metasensational perceptional matter? Yes, it's really matter. It is full planet. There is no vacuum, no emptiness in it. It's pure, unique, continuous, single, unobservable directly, unobservable directly, indivisible. It has only one quality. There is no density in, in itself. There is no friction in it. We have at least two realities. One of these realities is concerned with metasensational perceptional matter, which I termed as universal reality. Another one is specific to for all living species, include us, which I named as subjective reality. Now, there are intrinsic, immanent, specific cyclical motion forms in metasensational perceptional matter, which are cycling regularly and frequently, and these intrinsic motion forms are metasensational perceptional matter's motions, which interacts with each other in some way or which has no interaction yet. So, metasensational perceptional matter interacts itself by means of its intrinsic motion forms. If we want mentioning the density for metasensational perceptional matter, we can only talk about density of intrinsic motion forms of it. On the subjective reality scene or stage, firstly there are vacuums, emptinesses, different things, different colors, darkness, light, sounds, heat and cold, and striking, flying, turning around, dropping, pushing, pulling, decaying, transforming, coming out, things, etc. Yes, now, I said there are two realities, one of subjective reality, one of universal reality. Universal reality, universal reality, concerned with meta-sensational perceptual matter, then subjective reality for us, for all living species. The light, yes, the light, is the bridge between the two realities. The light is the bridge between universal reality and subjective reality. All interaction of all this which have been seen on the subjective reality scene or stage is result of encountering the metasensational perceptional matter itself by means of interaction of its intrinsic motion forms. These interactions are not actualized as typical striking, and next time I will explain them. Yes, what about intrinsic cyclical motion forms inside of metasensational perceptional matter? My main concept is cyclical electron motion form. What is that?
This is my end to page. Can you see? This is my universe. This is metasensational perceptional matter. As if. Yeah. What is electron motion for? Here. What is that? A motion for. But in metasensation perceptional matter, an arrow, motion arrow, cannot maintain as this. Because of what? Inside of this matter, this motion reverse. Backward. Okay? Why? And this reversing is spherical shape. This arrow inside of metaperceptional sensational matter transform a sphere. It cannot maintain as an arrow. Yeah. If this arrow is intense here, smaller reverse and smaller wavelength. This is electron motion for. You cannot touch this as you are outside of it. You cannot see that directly. Electron motion form is source of light. Electron motion form is belongs to metasensational perceptional matter. We have measured constant figures in our subjective realities. All constants determined by this type intrinsic motion forms. Its regularity is determinative, for, for instance, light, uh, light wave speed in our subjective reality. Now, again, this is our metaperceptional sensational matter. This is an arrow, motion arrow. It has direction, but it cannot ma maintain as this direction a kind of pressure. We don't know. Okay? Relate its intensity, okay, at the rate of its intensity, pressure, a kind of pressure, will increase. And then reverse this motion reverse reverse yes like this like this three-dimensional think of about that but this is a motion form yes now we have an first electron form this arrow reversed as a sphere motion arrow. Again, this is motion. You can touch this, but you cannot see. Now, what is linear velocity of 
this arrow, first arrow, in equal one. This is my formula. V G equal N multiplied by two pi C. This is my formula. Then first linear velocity is equal and equal one. First linear velocity is one million eight hundred forty four kilometer per second. Approximately six or seven fold of speed of light. Okay, wait a minute. This is first. Then this arrow turn back and come in. Then twice second arrow. Two we see. Then turn back. And again three we see. Okay? And each one has wavelength. Lambda. Okay. And this is these are the paces. One pace, two paces, three paces. And in our subjective world, the speed of that paces is three hundred thousand approximately kilometer per second. But this motion form, this specific form, and this mark formula is determinative for C in our subjective realities. Have a good evening. This is first episode. See you later.